With the holiday season in full swing, it feels like everyone's thinking about new PC builds. So there I was, brainstorming this video idea, the ultimate guide to the best Tarkov builds. And at first I thought, okay let's keep it simple, break it down by resolution, 1080, 1440, 4K, easy enough right? But no, that didn't really work in my head, it felt messy. Like yeah, resolution matters but Tarkov is weird. It's not your typical FPS where you throw in a big GPU and call it a day. So then I thought, alright let's go with budgets instead, budget builds, mid tier builds, high-end builds, boom, problem solved. Except it wasn't. That felt kind of wrong too. Tarkov doesn't follow the usual PC building rules. Here's why I kept getting stuck. Tarkov is insanely CPU dependent. I'm not talking about slightly biased. I'm talking the CPU is doing 85 to 90 percent of the heavy lifting. You could toss almost any half decent GPU into your rig, tweak your settings a bit, and still get solid performance as long as your CPU can keep up. The other components, sure they matter, but they're more like the supporting cast. The CPU, that's your lead actor, the MVP, and the star of your show. So I kept coming back to this one truth. If you're building a PC for Tarkov, you start with the CPU period. Everything else, your motherboard, your RAM, even your GPU builds around that. But the real challenge was figuring out how to present this in a way that's actually helpful and interesting. After a lot of back and forth, I think I've cracked it. Let's break it down. Alright, before we jump into the builds, let me make one thing clear. Tarkov is a CPU game. I've said it before and I'll say it again. It doesn't matter how good your GPU is if your CPU can't keep up. So if you're building a rig for Tarkov in December 2024, there are three CPUs you need to know about. The 5700X 3D, the 7800X 3D, and the brand new 9800X 3D. That's it. No debates, no alternatives. These are the heroes Tarkov deserves and the ones it needs right now. First up, the 5700X 3D. This is the budget king. Pound for pound, it's the best value to performance CPU in the market today. There's no better bang for your buck in Tarkov than the 5700X 3D. Thanks to its massive 3D V cache, it punches well above its weight class. It's hands down the best option if you're looking for solid performance without breaking the bank. And if you're already on the AM4 platform, even better. No need to swap out your motherboard or RAM. It's perfect for anyone who wants great performance without spending a fortune. Next up, the 7800X 3D. This this is the sweet spot for most people. It's fast, efficient, and absolutely crushes it in Tarkov. Now, the pricing on this chip is a little weird right now. It saw a price hike when stock was low before the 9800X 3D dropped. Then the 98 launched only $30 more than the 78 at retail, but it's nearly impossible to get it at that price these days. In my area, they're going for around $650 to $700. So 7800X 3D prices have stayed pretty high too. I think if you can grab one for around $400 or less, it's a solid buy. Otherwise, I suspect the 9800X 3D hype will cool off in the next few months and prices should start to drop back to more reasonable levels for both chips. Now this is just pure speculation on my part okay but I wouldn't be surprised if once the 9800X 3D prices settle we see a 7700X 3D variant come in at a lower price point. Also if you're lucky enough to live near a micro center they're selling the 7600X 3D for 300 outright or offering bundles with a solid motherboard and decent RAM for 450 which is an insane deal and the performance in Tarkov it's right there with the 7800X 3D. So if you're after top tier performance without completely blowing your budget the 7800X 3D and if you're lucky the 7600X 3D are the ones to grab. And finally we have the 9800X 3D the latest and greatest. This thing is a beast. It's the fastest gaming CPU you can buy right now and if you're the type of person who wants the absolute best performance regardless of cost this is your go-to. While it's not exactly cheap especially right now because of the inflated prices. I still think it's fairly priced at retail considering it's by far the best gaming CPU available today. What's impressive is that you don't need a high-end motherboard or expensive RAM to get the most out of it. So while the chip itself isn't exactly budget friendly, the overall cost of building a 9800X 3D system is actually more reasonable than you might expect, especially compared to what you'd spend on a top tier gaming system from previous generations. All right, so let's talk about the builds. I've broken them down into four tiers, gold, Platinum, Titanium, and my personal favorite, Unobtainium. All right, so first up is Gold. This is your budget-friendly, no-nonsense build. Think of it like the reliable SKS of Tarkov PCs. It's nothing fancy, but it gets the job done without making your wallet cry. For the Gold build, I have paired a 5700X 3D with a 5700XT. It's all gonna go on an A520 motherboard with 32 gigs of DDR4. I've picked parts with value in mind, so I've got a team group MS30 512GB M2 NVMe. Thermal 
Alright Assassin X for cooling. We've got the budget friendly but still very nice looking Cooler Master Q300L for a case here. And the PSU is a 650 watt Thermaltake Smart BX1. With this build, you can expect excellent performance at 1080p and even solid results at 1440 if you enable FSR. The performance should closely match the footage I'm showing here of a 5800X3D paired with the 6600XT. I've already compared the 5700X3D to the 5800X3D in Tarkov and basically the results are practically identical. As for the GPU, the 6600XT performs very similarly to the 5700XT with the 5700XT often coming out slightly ahead in benchmarks, but it's easier to find and is cheaper. In my opinion, pairing the 5700X3D with the 5700XT or a similar tier GPU is the best bang for your buck setup you can build right now for Tarkov. And at around 600 bucks total for this build, the level of performance you're getting is seriously impressive. Next we've got the Platinum build and this is where things start to get exciting. So we're stepping up to the 7800X3D for the CPU. For the GPU, we're going to throw in a 7800XT. For the motherboard, I'm choosing a cost-effective Gigabyte B650M Gaming Plus. For memory, we've got Team Group T-Create 6000CL30 DDR5. Handling storage is the Corsair MP600 Elite Gen 4 1TB M2 NVMe. For the cooler, I've chosen the Thermalright Peerless Assassin. Gonna be putting all of this into a B Gears B Pellucid MATX case. For $54, this is a really, really nice deal. For case fans, I chose the Iceberg Thermal Ice Scales. It comes in a three pack for 25 bucks. And for the PSU, I've got a Gigabyte GPUD 850GM 850W unit. All in all, the total should be a little over $1,400. Built around the 7800X3D, this setup is a powerhouse for Tarkov and beyond. Paired with the 7800XT, it's perfect for buttery smooth 1440 gameplay with high settings. The B650 motherboard and DDR5 RAM ensure you're unlocking the full potential of the CPU, while the 1TB SSD gives you good load times and provides plenty of storage for Tarkov and anything else you're playing. The footage you're seeing here features a 4070 non-super, which performs nearly identically to the 7800XT, but at a slightly higher price point. In fact, GPUs like the 6800XT, 6900XT, 6950 XT, 3080 10 or 12 gig, 3080 Ti, or even the 4070 Super, all deliver very similar performance at native 1440p in high settings, so take your pick depending on your preferences and budget. The Platinum build really hits the sweet spot, offering high-end performance without completely breaking the bank. So now we're on to the Titanium build. This is the rig for the player who wants the best possible experience without venturing into the rich guy flex territory, okay? So for the CPU, we've got a 9800X3D. Handling graphics duty is the 7900GRE. Motherboard, I'm still going with the B650 here. Again, these are just kind of baseline recommendations. In terms of performance, even stepping up to an X670 or an 870 or E variant, you're not going to see performance differences. So I opted for a 650 here, but feel free to substitute with what you want if you have different preferences. I'm going with 48 gigabytes of DDR5 memory. I chose a kit that's rated at 6400 CL32 for this build. Handling storage, I've got a Samsung 990 Pro 2TB M2 NVMe. For the cooler, I've stuck with the trusty Thermalright Peerless Assassin. I've tested cooling extensively on the X3D chips and they run incredibly cool, so there's no need for anything fancy. That said, if you prefer the look or performance of an AIO, feel free to upgrade. It's entirely up to you. For the case on this build, I've gone with the Antec C8 Wood. It looks really nice, looks really premium, and it matches the feel of this build. For the fans, I've chosen Be Quiet Lightweight. LX120. This comes in a three pack. These look really nice and operate very quietly. For the PSU, I've stuck with the same one from the Platinum build. It's the Gigabyte GPUD 850GM 850W unit. The 9800X3D is an absolute beast of a CPU and the 7900GRE is the perfect partner for it. Together they'll crush 1440 and even 4K with FSR. I'm showing footage of a previous stream with the 4070 here. I don't have a GRE on hand but basically performance should be about equal or maybe even a little better than what you're seeing here in 1440. Keep in mind this is streets in 1440 and I'm dual streaming and still getting those numbers and you might get a little better with the GRE but it'll be close. The titanium build is for the serious Tarkov player who wants top tier performance without going full ridiculous. 
ridiculous. And finally, we've got the unobtainium build. <laughs> this is for the people who want to flex, not just in Tarkov, but in life. This is the PC for the point one percenters out there. I don't really expect this machine to ever be built, but I guess these parts do exist, so I guess somebody's out there buying them, right? All right, so we've still got the 9800X3D for the CPU. For the GPU, we're throwing in a 4090, and pretty soon this will be replaced by a 5090. For the motherboard, we've got an MSI Meg x870e godlike for ram we've got 96 gigabytes of ddr5 6800 cl34 for storage we're gonna throw in a sabrent rocket 5 4 terabyte model for the cooler we've got an evga clcx 360 millimeter aio for the case we're gonna use a lee and lee 011 dynamic evo for the case fans we're gonna get two three packs of lee and lee sl lcds these actually have lcds on each fan. For the PSU, we're going with the Be Quiet Straight Power 12 1500 watt unit. So is this build practical? No. But is it fun to dream about? Absolutely. This is the Giga Chat of Tarkov builds, decked out with all the bells and whistles you could possibly want. It's built to crush Tarkov in 4K with high settings, all while keeping your frame rates buttery smooth, even if you've got 100 Chrome tabs open and a Twitch and YouTube stream running in the background. This build is pure, unapologetic overkill. It's for those with no spending limits who just want the Lamborghini of every component in their system from the cpu to the gpu to the storage everything here screams luxury and excess it's not about practicality it's about having the absolute best of the best just because you can sure it's way more than you'd ever need to enjoy tarkov but if you've got the budget and the desire to flex this build delivers in every way imaginable so I based the 9800X3D pricing in my builds according to retail costs, but as of December 2024, they're extremely hard to find a retail price with inflated costs due to low availability and scalpers going crazy around the hype. I do believe prices in stock will stabilize in the next few months, so for anyone considering the 7800X3D as a temporary option, it's still a powerhouse. If you can snag one for around 400 or less, it's a solid choice until 9800X3D prices come back to earth. Plus, I expect the 7800 x3d to hold its resale value well over time making it easy to upgrade later without losing much on your investment so there you have it my top recommended builds for anyone gearing up to dominate tarkov i've included links in the video description below for all the parts featured in this guide feel free to use those affiliate links as an easy starting point for your build they're here to help you streamline your shopping process and as a bonus they help to support the channel at no extra cost to you if you're upgrading an existing rig here's the deal if you're rocking 12th gen intel or older you'll start seeing gains even at the gold tier. If you're on 13th gen, you'll want to aim for the titanium build level to notice a substantial difference. AM4 users, gold is your go-to starting point. And if you're on a vanilla Ryzen 7000 or 9000 series chip, platinum or higher is where the upgrades start to make sense. Remember, the CPU is the beating heart of all these builds. I've paired what I think are best components for each tier, but you can absolutely mix and match to suit your style. When it comes to GPUs for Tarkov, the beauty is you can pretty much use anything. Just tweak your settings to match your CPU and you're good to go. If you've got questions about building or upgrading your system, hit me up on Discord. Seriously, I'm always down to chat builds or troubleshoot with you. I even offer one-on-one -on -one consultation sessions with Purology Pro members. So pick your tier, build your rig, and don't forget to check out my Tarkov optimization guide to fine-tune your setup. Then I'll see you in the raids, and good luck out there. Try not to get yourself killed. I'll see you in the next one.